Good afternoon from Akron Canton Airport. My name is Connor and welcome back to another Nix Aviation Trip Report. Today I'll be returning to Nashville with Breeze Airways on board their Embraer E195. I'll be flying in their nicer product today, which is advertised as extra legroom seating and free refreshments. Breeze is the first low-cost carrier to offer this type of premium product, so let's get right to it. Breeze Airways always has a simple check-in process with some of the nicest staff around. It always makes for a good start to what could be a very long travel day for some people. They always try to serve lesser known airports in smaller cities such as Akron. Before Breeze, Akron only saw service from American and United, and limited service from Allegiant. Breeze is now Akron's top airline with multiple E-195 destinations, as well as a recently announced A220 route to Las Vegas. I do love traveling from small airports such as this one due to the short, or in this case non-existent, security lines. We were able to clear TSA in less than five minutes and even had a friendly conversation about Akron University with the employees there. That's definitely not the experience you get when flying out of major airports. My flight this afternoon is Breeze Flight 206 with nonstop service to Nashville, which is scheduled to depart gate one at 5.20 p.m. Now, before I head to the gate, let's take a look around this airport. The airport has nine gates, seven of which are in the upper level and two of which are on the lower level. Airside, the airport recently underwent some major renovations, which included the modernization of the upper level gate areas, as well as the addition of gates one and two in the lower level. Previously, these gate areas didn't even have power ports or Wi-Fi. The airport was becoming rather dated and definitely needed some work. But with the renovation completed in 2020, came many modern amenities, such as power and USB ports, hand sanitizing stations, televisions, high-speed free Wi-Fi, and many convenience stores. Overall, it's a very beautiful little terminal, and I definitely recommend flying out of Akron over Cleveland if it's more convenient for you. Here we are at gate one. Boarding is scheduled for 4.50 p.m. And here is my aircraft for this afternoon's flight, arriving from Charleston. November 193 Bravo Zulu is a nine-year-old Embraer ERJ-195AR that started its life with Azul Airlines before coming to Breeze in 2021. These E195s have 118 seats, 18 in nicer class, and 100 in nice class. My seat for this flight was 5A. As you can see, that entire row is taken, so I checked my Breeze mobile app to find I had been moved to 5F. Not a big deal, as I still get my engine view, but some prior notice would have been nice. These nicer seats are 17 and a half inches wide and offer 34 inches of pitch, which is comparable to the Economy Plus product of other major airlines. The seat back pocket is clean and very large. I'll go over its contents later. The tray table is also large and very clean. Overall, upgrading to the nicer cabin is well worth it. And let's not forget about this awesome engine view. And now, without further ado, we're going to push back, taxi out, and depart on time from runway 01. Our non-smoking. This includes e-cigarettes and vaping. In the event we lose cabin pressure, panels above your seat will open automatically, revealing oxygen mask. Quickly reach for the nearest mask, remove from the plastic clip, and pull down firmly to start the flow of oxygen.
pocket includes a safety card. And an onboard service brochure. In addition to free refreshments in the nicer cabin, Breeze offers a large buy on board menu, including package deals and alcoholic beverages, as well as free Wi Fi. When connected to the in flight Wi Fi, you gain access to Breeze's in flight entertainment system. Included is a large selection of movies. TV series. And games. It's a rather simple IFV, but it definitely does the trick for the shorter routes that Breeze flies. The most advertised perk of the nicer cabin is the free onboard service. This includes water and a granola bar or snack mix. I also bought some Pringles from the buy onboard menu. And now, without further ado, please enjoy our scenic approach into Nashville, landing on runway 02 center. As a low-cost carrier offering a premium product, Breeze Airways continues to impress me. The fact that I only paid $49 one way for a premium economy product on a non-hub route is absolutely phenomenal. As always, the crew were absolutely wonderful and so excited to see people interested in their airline. The more I fly with Breeze, the more I notice how full the planes are. And it excites me to see how successful they're becoming. Next, I need to try out Breeze's nicest product on their A220. I'm hoping to do that at some point in the near future, maybe to either Vegas or Los Angeles. We'll see what happens. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching this trip report with Breeze Airways. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video. Also be sure to check out my socials via the link in the description. With that all out of the way, I'll see you all in the next video.